everybody, my name's Elaine. Um, I'm one of the organizers for PyCon Canada. Um, this clearly will be a talk where I'm going to pitch to you that either you should come to PyCon Canada, pitch a talk to PyCon Canada, or volunteer to PyCon Canada, or if you happen to work for a company with lots of money, sponsor PyCon Canada. <laughs> This is a quick overview. This year is taking place November 16th and 17th in our beautiful downtown Toronto. It's actually up the street from where we are now. It's going to be at the Carlu, which is like a beautiful Art Deco 1930s type venue, which is basically what happened was that they built it, the depression hit, kind of got shelved for a while. They realized there's a venue in there, and now they host really swanky parties. Uh, so we're going to have two days of talks. And then two days of open source sprints. Uh, if you have any projects that you want to get contributors to help out with, this is a great two days to meet a bunch of people from around the world who want to also sprint on open source projects. Um, our call for proposals right now is open. If you go to pycon.ca, um, click the link, you can submit talks. We're looking for either 10 minute talks or 25 minute talks, or one hour tutorials. So if you have anything you want to teach, um, this is a great time um, to do so. And uh, for example, uh, let's go. And we also look for sponsors, network with over. So the Carlo actually fits like 1,800 people. The goal is to not have 1,800 people <laughs> there. We're aiming for a third, around 600. 650 is our magical sweet spot this year. We're hoping for more, but 650 is a sweet spot. Um, we're hoping. One big thing about sponsorship that's really great is that it allows us to pay for um, perks or more accessibility so that everyone can come. Um, big things include like being able to pay for on-site childcare, um, accessibility, which is um, captioning, so we can have open captioners um, who are live captioning talks. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's absolutely like mesmerizing. You think it's a machine, but really it's someone in a, using their sonography a machine like typing like 200 words a minute is, is, is it's fantastic and also financial aid so that way people can come I put in party just because people like parties and we don't normally have a party unless a sponsor can can pay for it because <laughs> because most of our most of our uh, costs so ticket costs usually go towards food and the venue um, let me also point out, if you've never organized a conference or if you also never had to pay for a wedding before, food seems to jump in price, <laughs> uh, depending on what you say. Luckily, we're saying not wedding. If we said wedding, it would be even more expensive. <laughs> so this sandwich is a really ridiculously expensive, but in a good way, because it helps we want you to be fed at this conference. We want you to have really good food. And the caterer is Oliver and Bo Boccaccini, and they're really fabulous. So this is going to be the fancy sandwich you'll ever get. I promise. Outside of a wedding. Outside of a wedding. Um, also, because Carly is also considered one of the swankiest uh, wedding venues in Toronto. If you feel like getting married, I have a really good price for you on November 16th in the evening. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so this is the stage setup. We're going to have the theater. We're going to have two more rooms. One's called the round room and one's called the clipper room. And they both look so nice that it seems kind of weird to have a tech conference in there. But you'll be learning lots of cool Python-esque things and enjoying the decor at the same time. Uh, and also, one last thing. Um, almost, we're also looking for, for volunteers. I specifically am also looking for volunteers. But the conference is looking for volunteers. Um, so there's two types of conference volunteers. Um, one's kind of, kind of being part of the core organizing team, kind of helping out, kind of get sponsorship, kind of help with program selection, which I didn't put in there. Um, review talks. Uh, we already have over 50 talks proposed. And we're not even anywhere near the deadline, uh, <laughs> which means if you want to help stop Miles from having to read 200 talk proposals, <laughs> Keep Miles sane. Same of Alex. I think Alex also read a lot last year as well. I like reading all of them because it's always interesting to see what people think is a hot Python topic. Let me point out that last year, machine learning was really popular. And about five years ago, Django was really popular. So who knows what this year could bring? Um, so if you're helping to kind of like shape what PyCon Canada could 
be all about and what this conference could, um, could, could be, um, please come out to volunteer for conference. Uh, if you just prefer helping out day of, be like a, um, so usually they have volunteers are making sure that like, the crowd gets dispersed. People know where the food is and as well as being a moderator for talks. So keeping track of time and helping speakers not talk for three hours like I'm about to do. Um, we welcome you, please come. It's always a lot of fun. Um, past volunteers in the room, Alex helped out. Miles has helped out, Jill has spoken. So I promise this is a good time. Um, any questions about the conference or any suggestions or anything of that sort? I know I'm keeping it from beer, so I'm going as fast as possible. Yes. So what were the dates again? November 16th and 17th are the talks. 18th and 19th are the sprints. We're also looking for people who are willing to coordinate sprints. So um, if you have an open source project that you want to get volunteers for, I can bring volunteers to you if you want to help organize the project itself. So that way, when people approach you, they won't be like, which bug do you want me to squish? And I'll just shrug, and hopefully I can point to you. Um, anything else? Yes? AI and how broad, how broad uh, selection of topics? It usually depends on what people are willing to pitch. So, the, so we try to do a good, very good overview of what the Python landscape is. So in previous years, we had talks about C Python. We have talks about data science. We have talks um, about Django. We even had the Flask maintainer last year. David Lord came and gave a talk about maintaining Flask, which was a lot of fun, and kind of even any projects you're using. So, Py so we're trying very hard to keep Py PyCon um, a technology conference with emphasis on the Python programming language. But if you have really neat kind of bridging topics, like for example, one of our keynotes last year um, was Holden, and she gave a really great talk about PySpark, which is within the realm. It's on the outskirts. Um, we welcome that as well. So as long as your talk is remotely related to something a Python developer would be interested in, please pitch. Gladly take it, and if it's a good pitch, we'll definitely want to have you talk about it. Um, any other questions? Miles. I enjoy the talk about people's personal projects. <laughs> Pers so, yes. Do you have any cool personal projects? I think two years ago we had a really good talk about power grids. It was a really good talk. So feel free to pitch your personal projects of awesome. Are you saying somebody had a personal power grid? <laughs> I cannot confirm or deny this. <laughs> I, I believe that they were working for a, a company with a power grid, perhaps a Hydra One. But that's less exciting. <laughs> and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, you can email me at elaine at pycon.ca. Um, uh, and I normally respond to emails. If not, tweet me at L the nerd, E L the nerd. Um, I'm more receptive on Twitter than on email. But aside from that, uh, if no more questions, uh, or you can talk to me, come up to me. I'm wearing a purple shirt. No one else is wearing a purple shirt, so hopefully I'm. <laughs> Wait, no, there's one more. Sorry. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm wearing a purple shirt. I have glasses. That, that, that should clear a few things up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much for your attention. And thank you for letting me pitch PyCon Canada. And I hope to see you all there. Thanks.